good evening or a late late evening it's about 11 34 right now sorry i got off to a late start always intend to go a certain time but a little just didn't want to go to sleep she wanted to stay up so these are the colors i'm going to try to mix in today not mix but pour might not use all the colors, but these are just some of the colors that I'm, I might be using. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to start off with just going to add white to the cup. And then I'm going to... Um, add some color. So right now I'm just going to put some white in the cup. Hi, Angelia. I'm going to add some white in and then I'm going to use some of these colors. I'm just going to start out with just, just kind of layering colors together on this first one. So put the white in here, a little bit of white on the bottom. And I like this dark blue, so I'm going to use this dark blue color. I think I'll do a couple different with these colors but right now I'm going to start out with just a few colors that I like. Let's see, I'm going to use this pearl color. Hi there Jessica. Sorry to keep you guys waiting but the baby did not want to go to sleep. So this and this color pours really nice up. It's nice and smooth. These Martha Stewart ones are they pour really nice right out the package there. Let's see. I'm just trying to see what other colors are catching my eye. I love color shift. In case you ever hear me say that, it's just this, these colors shift with the light. So there's a bunch of different colors on these, but these are really cool. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. And these are really good too. They come out really smooth. And let's see. See, this sapphire is really pretty, but I'm going to put some white in there. So in between, I'm just going to put a little layer of white in the middle. And I'll put this blue in there. This is really nice. I'm going to shake it up. This is a really pretty color, too. And then... I think I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in there. I'm gonna put this down for just a second. Hi there, Kathy. I just took the lid off the top, but I'm gonna add a little bit of this emperor's gold just on the top. And then I think I got enough layers in there because I'm really not wanting to do a bunch like this. I just wanna do a couple and then we'll do it another way. <clears throat> trying to get in the position where you can see good. Okay, I'm gonna start with this back one. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of white at the top just so I don't lose all that gold because usually whatever's at the top sometimes gets poured right out. Hi there, Dee Dee. Okay, so for this first one, I'm gonna try to do stripes. I'm just gonna go back and forth, and I usually start in the middle and work my way out. Because the gold was at the top, there was more gold. That's why I was doing a lot more gold in there. And this looks really pretty. I don't know if you can see the little, um, I guess that's what they're called, cells on the top. But I didn't mix anything in these paints. Um, it was just the colors that I put in. And sometimes the colors that you put in will create the cells, and sometimes you have to add other things to create them. But I've been pretty lucky, because some of the paints that I use are metallics, and once they kind of go together with the other paints, it creates them itself. So I don't, I haven't ever used the Floatrol yet, just because, um, I don't know. I just like doing things different, and so I always get cool results without having to use the same products as certain people. So I always, I'm like always like, no, I'll just do it a little bit, a little bit different. But this one, I mean, as I'm holding it here from the time it started to now, it really, it really did some cool stuff. And I have to say, this always happens every time I'm doing this live. 
not that you guys pick the colors or anything, but just doing it with my one hand and, and putting, picking the colors with you, I always get cool stuff. So I do have some nice paint left over, so that looks really cool. I think what I'll do, just because the paint is pretty, I'll do a couple transfers, just like maybe one or two, just so you could see the, the use of this pretty paint. And the reason why I like to pour flat is mainly because I like to have the use of the paint around the edges there. And if I have the rack, then I have to kind of go underneath things, and this gives me quick access here, and then it also helps me give the rock a smooth edge all the way around. So I'm just going to scoop the paint underneath, and this brush is kind of like, um, let me see if this is better. I like to use a brush that looks like you left it in the paint too long, so it's kind of thick, because it's firm enough where it'll scoop the paint up. So I'm just going to kind of go underneath, and then I'm gonna move it over to this rock right here. Scoop underneath. And I'm just tilting the brush and then I'm moving it over. And I just call them transfer because really I'm just transferring the paint from there to there. And I, I think with the brush you get a better effect. I mean, if you use something to scoop it up with, but then it'd be just another pour, but with the brush, you're actually just moving the paint and you're kind of like laying it on top. If you hear any background jumping noise, it's my dog. He likes to, he likes to make some noise. So I'm just grabbing the paint and pulling it over the top. And I think the color that really made this pop was the um, blue sapphire color. I'm just gonna finish this one up and then I'll pour I'll pour another one. And it gives it a really cool effect just the transfers because if you get a really nice pour you get a really good look. Hey there Su Susie. So I like that. This one really came out cool but right when it got poured it looked um, it looked pretty neat too because it had like the teeny tiny cells and then it slowly started to stretch out so that looked pretty it's a pretty cool effect on there just watching it happen too okay I will just so you know this is something I want everybody to know because it's always something that everybody asks like does it sit in the puddle and why do you want to pour flat like everybody does different things mine is just I like to do flat because I like to clean up around there so it if you don't you don't want to see it sit in there and you're worried about it you know you don't have to do it that way you could do the rack but the purpose of this is so tomorrow I'm going to smooth out the bottoms and it's going to be nice and smooth so that's pretty cool okay um, I'm going to do um, some pour now so let's do some pouring I'll grab another cup here so I got the cup here I'm going to try to hit up let me see another rock I want to get a good size one this is pretty poor and I'm kind of set up here with cardboard and foil. I was using some cookie sheets, but but all my cookie sheets are being used right now by all my other board rocks. So I'm down to just the, the cardboard here. So I'm gonna go with this rock right here. I'm gonna pour. And for this one, I'm just gonna kind of go right over the top. I always kind of intend on what I'm gonna do. So on this one, I'm gonna come over the top. And then I'm gonna try to come back and give that same design twice. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm, I'm waiting just to see how far down it goes down the edge, and then I'm, I'm going to add a little to it, so don't get worried. It's going to look a little different on the bottom. It looks like a cool little wave there on the bottom, too. Okay, let me scroll back to see if I missed anybody. Hi, Barbara, Kathy, Lisa, Jackie, Ashley said, um, it says, I need to know what you use to seal. All right. I don't like that hodgepodge. Hey, I don't like that Mod Podge either. It stinks. I don't know why it smells so bad, but I use this. I don't use sprays. I usually use the DuraClear. I use two coats of this, and I use this brush. 
I usually use a smaller one, but these are the brushes I use. And then if I want a really glassy, glossy look, I'll use one coat of this and one coat of this. And this dries in like about 20, 30 minutes and then, so, but I usually give it like half an hour in between each one, but these are the ones I use. And I just, I just tend to not use anything that I have to spray on. So I consistently always have the same type of rock. So if I do the spray, then I do this, and I'm always getting something different. So, plus I hate, I hate smelling fumes from stuff. I'm really sensitive to that. So that's why I use those. And then these are a couple of things I'm working on down here. And then I have a bunch over here. I think because my nose is so sensitive to smells at certain things, I just have to like, I try stuff and I'm like, nope. So sometimes this really has to do with, the, with me too, what I'm used to using. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, Ashley said I should use the Krylon Triple Thick. Is the Krylon Triple Thick a spray or is it a brush on? And does it smell? Because that's what I'm curious about. Okay. Oh, Angelina said, love the dragon eyes. Those are so fun to make. I really thank um, Rachel's Rocks. Um, am I saying that right? I think that's right, yeah. I got the tutorial from her. She's awesome, so. Okay, I'm down to the bottom here. And what I usually do is, um, if I'm not gonna do transfers, you know, people go, oh my God, you're wasting all that paint. No, believe me, most of us will just get this paint and either make transfers or just put the paint right back in the cup. Oh, Angelina, it's a spray and it does smell. Okay, that I have to stay away from it. Even if it does really cool things, I'll get a headache big time. And plus, oh, Certain times of the year, sprays won't work if it's cold or too hot. Okay, let me clean this puppy dog up, but I just wanted you guys to see how I do that. Do you guys want to see more with just colors, or do you want me to add some of the white with the Moroccan oil? You guys tell me. Whoever, majority rules, whoever chimes in the first, I'll go with that. If not, by the time I finish doing that, I'll pick it. No. So really, I'm just going around the bottom. And I'll even clean up all this paint right here. I'll put it right back in there. I try to get it all back in there. That's why I like the foil. I could just go right over. Okay, so I got two votes for oil already. Ash is giving me some ideas about pink sunset and different stuff. Good stuff. Good ideas. Okay, so I'm just trying to put the rest back in there. Put this all in there. Okay, that color is beautiful. Okay, so, so you're seeing that I'm getting it all cleaned up, but do know that the paint still falls little by little. So for the next hour, I'm just gonna be going underneath and cleaning it. And you really want a nice flat brush to do that because if it's at all thick and not flat, then it's gonna rub against the pore. So you wanna be able to scoop right on the bottom and clean it off. Okay, I'm gonna go with the suggestion of the oil, but I'm gonna add it to this excess paint that's in here already. So, and tonight I'm just decided I'm just gonna go with the blues and the greens because that's what was calling me. I do go for suggestions too. I wanted that, but then I was like, when I started grabbing the paint, the blue was like, come get me. Okay, so I, I put a good amount of oil in there. Maybe too much, I'm not too sure, but it's okay. It's, it's worth an experiment here to see what happens. So I'm gonna put a little bit on top, not all of it, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some colors back in. And I think I'll add some glitter. Let's see, we got Joanne. Hello, Joanne. What time is it over there in Australia? Look at that one. Okay, so these are the two we've poured so far. And this one is a transfer. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna add some of this glitter, Martha Stewart. Just a little bit. It's a little more watery than the, the acrylic ones, just the straight acrylic colors. And then I think I'm gonna add a bit of this, what color is this? Rust, why a little bit of rust to that. And then I think I'll put a little bit more of that oil and the white on top. So really you just like keep using the same paint you already poured in the cup, putting it back in there, maybe adding a little bit more colors on top. So that's pretty good. Hey there, Sherry, Simone. Sherry said she bought the folk art glitter and it smells horrible. Oh man, I haven't tried that. I got lucky. Someone gave me Martha Stewart glitter. And after that, I haven't even tried anything. I just know that that stuff works awesome. So that's what I've been doing. I swear when I first poured this at the beginning, not that this doesn't look as cool as it does, but it looked really neat because it had tiny, tiny little cells all over it and they just spread out right before your eyes. So when I finish, you'll have to check that out. That one looks cool, but it's kind of just blended on me. And then this one was a transfer. I am going to put this stuff in a cup. I mean, on the rock. Give me a nice, good size one. And then maybe this one too. Okay. So I'm going to pour this up. I got a little bit of the excess paint from these pours on the bottom of this cup. And then I just added some stuff on top of it. So for this one, I think I'm going to try to circle myself from the middle out. So. Trying to get a good light here. Since the glitter was on the top, I think it's gonna be right in the middle. Just kind of try to make a design as it flows out there. And that looked pretty cool. Ashley, um, I said, where, where do you get Martha Stewart brand? Oh, that uh, Martha Stewart, I get all my paints from Michaels and where all the acrylic paints are. I mean, pretty much all those acrylic paints pour really well, except I've noticed the folk art, like these ones, I've noticed these ones. These ones tend to be, and they're just regular, the paints, not the acrylics, but the paints, these tend to be thick. I'm not, I'm not, too, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. So this looks pretty cool, huh? Digging that. I like the way that looks. I like the way how, like, you never know how the glitter is going to work, but it always kind of, for me, or what I've noticed is it always kind of goes in this right spot there. So that looks pretty cool. And I think because the paint looks so pretty, I'll do a transfer. I'm going to get a nice, transfers are cool on nice flat rocks because it's easy to just move the paint to it. So I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use that same brush I was using. I think this is the, no, that's the thinner one. Smooth this out here. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to transfer it right on top. So, so a nice firm brush, not a, like a really thin one, but it's got to be firm. I'm actually using one that the paint had dried on, so it's not the best brush, but it's firm enough to grab the paint. So you just go underneath and all you're doing is just pulling it and then moving it over. I'm gonna grab some more. And these are fun to do because it's like the the design, you're just kind of making the design just kind of go from one spot to the next. So that's kind of neat to watch it go on. So that looks pretty cool. This looks like a horse's face right there with the eyeball and the mouth and stuff. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. I have enough in here to pour another one, so I'm going to pour this one. And I think I'm going to try to make some stripes going across this way, so we'll see how that turns out there. Oh, 
always tend to do one side then the other that way you get an even colored stripe on there so I'm running low but I always try to keep it even on one side because you go from side to side then you lose that flow of the the paint so that looks pretty cool I like the way that turned out the glitter kind of laid right in the middle right there I like the way that looked so what did I notice? I noticed that I didn't get, even though I use the oil, I didn't get a lot of stuff that had little tiny cells like this one does, but this one really didn't do that much. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit more of the white on this next one, just to see what, what happens, just experiment. So this is the white with the oil. I'm gonna use different colors this time. I'm gonna use this what color is this hummingbird green color? I think I'll use some greens. That's pretty, comes out, even though it sounds like that, it's, it's pretty smooth coming out there. And then this color shift blue. Open this up. And you can mix the colors individually with stuff, but for me, I just like, because I don't really use, you actually take the stuff out of the bottom, you don't really use that much, so I tend to just use straight from the, from the container here. Look at this green metallic. This is cool. I'm gonna add that. See? And then I'm gonna put the white back on top, just to just kind of layer the oil. I mean, I'm hoping to get something that pops, but I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. And then some gold. And it'll seem like I have a lot of extra paint, but I most likely am going to put the paint back into, where's my container? I like to have one container that's like just a mesh of all kinds of colors. And surprisingly enough, this one, the mixture of all of them always seems to come out pretty awesome. So you're never really missing or or you know we're not you're not losing out on paints. Okay, so I got that. I feel like I need one more color, like this sapphire color. This is a good one. Majority of the paints that I really enjoy uh, pouring are the metallics and um, color shift because they just do cool stuff regardless if you mix anything in or not. And I don't get too crazy mixing stuff because. I just like the brightness of the color of the the pour itself when it comes out of the the container. Okay, let me get some space here. I think I'm just gonna go to town with these and just pour this away. A little more oil on top. Okay, I think I'm set. I'm just gonna kind of go from one to the next and come around so. We'll see what happens. Ooh, this rock's a little uneven. Oops, sorry, I got zoned out myself looking at it. I didn't even get to, to video that one, but okay, so we'll do this one. And I'm gonna kinda like drop it from the top and then see how that Curious on how this will look if I do it this way. I like the way that looks. It kind of, as far as watching it go, it looks really cool. That was fun on the eyes. That was very enjoyable to watch that happen. Sorry guys, I zoned out. I was getting a little close. I was like, oops. Okay. Now this paint right here, it's hard to see, but that paint right there is awesome. Which is calling me to do a transfer really quick. So, which one is the firmer brush? This one. So good. So I am going to grab some of this blue and put it on this rock right here. Just because the colors are so pretty. 
I think the sapphire really makes it pop. And I've been trying to look at the feed too. In case any of you guys have questions or like burning questions, you know, feel free to ask. I'll try to make sure I look as I'm going. A lot of information I try to post in the pin post, just the questions that I've maybe heard a couple times. I'll try to post that information there. But if it gets really, really quiet, it's only because I'm zoning out on, on this. Okay. So that one came out really pretty. Oops. Got the top part right there. Just put a little bit more right on top. That's pretty. Okay, this came out really cool. I like the way that looked, but I'll go ahead and finish pouring these over. So I'm gonna get this one right here. I think I'm just gonna see where it lays. That one came out really pretty. It is kind of just the way you rotate your cup as you're putting it on. You know, you can create your own design on how you want it to look. Because it doesn't always have to look the same way. So that's really cool. And just knowing like that um, no matter what colors you choose, you're always going to get a different rock each time. Oh my gosh, i got to show you this dog's being a ham really quick. He is crazy. He wants a snack. Every time I do a live, not all the time, but most of the time, he is just there just waiting for something. His name is Flash. Okay, give me a second because I doubt that he'll leave unless I give him something to snack on. So I'm going to give him a snack really quick. And then I think he'll be okay. Okay. Okay, he's a ham. Okay, now where were we? What were we doing? Okay, got a little bit left. I think I'm gonna be up for someone giving me some colors really quick. Anybody have a couple colors they wanna shoot out that I can grab to mix together? Kinda go with whoever gives me some random colors right now. Definitely going to put white at the bottom. Jessica says galaxy. Oh man, I got to use black, but I'm not ready for black. Um, pink, blue, and purple. Okay. Pink, blue, and purple. Let me go check and see if I got some pink. Hold on. This paint might be... The not good. Oh, yeah, I got pink. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to try to see if I got. Okay, so blue and purple. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to random select them and see what happens. Okay. They're metallic colors, but we'll use these. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this pink, blue, and purple right here. Let's go with those and see what happens. I'm just trying to use the rest of that out. And then in between, I'm gonna layer white. So the color, then a little bit of white, then this purple, it's satin, so we'll see how that goes. And these come out really smooth. All the Martha Stewart's come out very smooth. A little bit of white. A little bit of the pink. A little bit of white. Okay. Let's see what happens on this one. I'm thinking, let's see how I'm gonna go about this one. Kinda wanna 
watch the design go on. Kind of letting it overflow because I just want to see the color go on. Oh, my loveliness. Ashley, you picked some good colors there. I mean, I know you didn't really like pick them, but the, you told me what colors to pick and I picked them, so yes. I'm telling you, every time I do stuff with everybody in these things, um, I'm a little selfish. I think I do them mostly because you guys give me good luck, so it's fun doing them and you guys give me good luck. Can you guys see the paint moving? That's what I'm talking about. Just watch it. Shh. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's fun, is just watching that it happen right before your eyes. Because as we're watching it, it started one way, and now if you look to the right, that paint's just flowing off the edge right there. It's so beautiful. And the reason that I pour flat is mostly because I love, I love looking at this puddle right here. Love it. And I'm gonna do a transfer just because that puddle is so pretty. Flat rocks are really good for transfers, but that one looks amazing. Look, it looks like a little heart on the top. It's cute. Okay, um, let me grab a brush. Take the paint off. Okay. So pretty. That sapphire is something else. Just so you guys can get a look at that. This is the sapphire. So it doesn't matter what brands you're using. Metallics are cool. It's just some metallics smell stronger than others. I've noticed the deco art are a bit strong, but this, this is not that strong, so no. So happy with that. That is so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna do a transfer with this paint right here because it's, I almost don't even wanna to touch it. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Uh, okay, um, if you haven't poured before, but you know, once you start, you'll start to realize that watching the puddle is amazing and it's just so relaxing just looking at the paint. It's just beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop it up and I'm gonna lay it right here. On top, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this here so you can see me put it on there and then I'm just gonna be scooping it underneath. Yeah. And do know that whatever you do, you pour, you have like the beautifulest rock don't get upset if your finger gets in it because it's always going to happen. And the quicker it happens to you and you get over it, the happier you'll be because you'll know that you'll pour a beautiful one next time too. So don't worry. What do you guys think of that transfer? Awesome sauce. I'm really loving that one. I'm really loving the choice in colors. I don't think I would have, not that I wouldn't have picked them, but just it's the magic of the live. You guys are awesome. Okay. That is so cool. And to those of you that um, won recently the Dragon Eyes, I'm going to send those. And a few of you I want to send rocks to, but, but I got to wait till payday. So don't be upset if you don't get it till later. Because I really, really want to give them to everybody, but I can't. Unless someone pays for all my postage for tons of people. So, we'll get to it. But in the meantime, I'm showing you guys how to make some awesome stuff. So, everybody else could just do more awesome stuff than I'm doing. Because I'm just saying, everybody in the group's doing some stuff. And I'm just like, takes my breath away. I'm just like, oh my gosh. This one, I'm not going to be like, eh, but I wasn't too, you know, it wasn't like wonderful, but this one looks really cool. This one's pretty neat. I like that one. 
the swans. Like the way that looks with the bronzy colors in there. This one got more of the cell look than any of them. And it was just a transfer. This one's kind of pretty. I like that one. Kathy said that she was trying to do transfers, but it wasn't going so well. And she said maybe a stiff brush would be good. And I, definitely, most definitely, I've noticed that the brush that I get and use, it's not one of those really soft edge ones because those are not going to help lift the paint up. So, oh, these are so gorgeous. Now, on the top, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's little indents right here. They're not holes, but it didn't pour in those little spots. So I'm just going to get a little toothpick and just kind of move my hand around and it's going to fill them right in so it won't do nothing. I could use a straw but if I blow too hard then I'll lose my design on the rock and I don't want to lose that so. Kind of looks like a frog though. What do you guys think? Looks like a frog with the eyeballs so I don't know maybe I think I'll maybe I'll leave it that way. It's pretty cool. Oh the sapphire. I really like that color too, it's really pretty. Oh, so pretty. So do realize that you don't need to add all kinds of stuff to your pores in order to create beautiful rocks. Because it gets overwhelming when someone tells you, you need to add this, this, and a little bit of that, and mix two spoons of this. I mean, that's why I created this group, because I just wanted to tell people, you don't have to do all that crazy stuff. You just throw some um, paint in the cup and pour it over. It's not as technical as canvas pouring, because you're just pouring something tiny, so it doesn't have to be all, you know, you don't have to have a certain recipe. You could just go with the flow and just have fun. Looks like a face or something in there. Looks kind of, kind of weird. Okay, should I do another? Are you guys awake? It's Friday, so I thought if it's late, it's okay. It's Friday because it's about twelve o'clock, and a couple of you guys are still hanging out. So, what do you think? Should I do some more colors? Pour the rest of this. Let's pour the rest of this because I got a lot of that blue in there. So let's see. I'm gonna go with. Kind of just pouring it out and seeing what happens. So we'll see what happens. Turned into it. Turned into a blue rock. Where did my design go? Ashley, you think it's still beautiful, just the color itself. Or do you think I should put some more color on the top of it? Because I could potentially grab the stuff that's on the bottom and put it on top. Or do you think I should leave it? I'm going to go with Ashley. What do you think? you think I should leave it just like this? Or should I scoop up some of this and put it on top? Please. Yes, add something on top. Love it, leave it. Okay, I won't touch it, I won't touch it, I won't touch it, I'm not gonna touch it. But this paint is screaming for transfers because look at that beautiful blue paint. And I know under this beautiful blue paint, there is white paint and it's gonna create a cool design. So, so I'm not gonna stop, I gotta do it, okay? I'm gonna grab this. I feel, like I feel like I'm gonna get waves over here if I use it, so I wanna get, I want some waves. can't resist it. I gotta put something on top. Oh, 
Ooh. It's just fun. It's, it's just fun watching it go on there. You can always get another blue rock, but that looks pretty cool. Just watch it. Everybody be quiet. Just watch that paint move, all right? Isn't that awesome? And that's what makes you relax. That's what gets you zoned out because you're just not thinking about anything else, whatever's going on. Just watching the paint fall, enjoying the beauty. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that excess paint. Look at that design. It's just making it by itself. It's so pretty. Okay, let me finish fixing this, finishing off this transfer one. But that actually, I'm, I'm happy I did that, so. It really enhanced the look of the, the rock. Okay, should I do another one? What do you guys think? I have room for two more over there. Another one or transfers on some of this paint? What do you think? I was starting to get tired, so most likely after I finish, I'm just gonna have to put the paint away. Go for it, what? What should I do? What should I do? I feel like grabbing like, um, let me see here. Still got blue down there. Let's see what I got here. Let's see, I got that blue. Then I got some emerald green in here. I like the emerald green. A little bit of white. A um, little bit of gold. Um, put some copper on top. And a little bit more white. Okay. And sometimes when you're pouring, you just can't stop it. It just starts to go and your brain starts thinking about colors and you just can't stop doing it. So just know that this is okay. You're addicted. You can't stop. It's all right. You're not alone. And thank God I'm not alone either because I get a little bit stressed out thinking I'm alone pouring. But now there's a lot of us. Okay, so I'm going to try to do stripes a little bit on this one. Oh, this came out pretty. And the paint looks so pretty in there. Okay, what did Ashley say? Transfer the blue stripes and the green stripes together. Okay, I will do that right now. I am gonna do that. Isn't that so pretty? Okay, next I'm gonna pour the rest of this in this rock. And then I will use these multiple excess paints that are here and make some rocks. We'll do, we'll do a transfer, a multi one. I'm just gonna let the paint it has a nice little flow. I'm gonna let the paint fall as it's coming out right now. Then we can just watch it blow out of the cup. This one's okay. Let me see. Just gonna try to create some. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, third was getting a little quiet there. Just trying to make that one look pretty. Sometimes if you're not happy with it, you could do, you can jazz it up if you want to. So this one I really like. It's gonna be really shiny when it dries. Okay, let me get some rocks in here for a multi-transfer really quick. So I'm gonna use paint from this one and this one and do a transfer one. And then I think I'm gonna have to tap out after that. So grab some of this paint, put it over here. We'll grab a little bit of this paint, put it up top. Kind of putting them both together like that. Thank you for the idea. It looks gorgeous. Looks really cool. Okay. See, I tell you guys, every time I do this, get some cool stuff. I wouldn't have thought about that. Now I gotta get the other side of that. I don't know if this was the intention, but I'm pretty sure that's what you guys were saying to do. But that looks pretty cool, huh? Looks pretty neat. Okay, one more. Um, with the blue, move this out here. Let me clean this brush up here. One more I'm gonna do with the excess from this blue color and a little bit with the bronze. So we'll see how that goes really quick. I'm down to just a few people watching and it is late. My teenage daughter is waiting for me to hurry up and get off, so. I'm down to my last, my last one. Try to do blue on one side and then a little bit of bronze on the other, like a beach. Try to use all the other excess paints. pretty cool too okay guys I'm tapping out here I'm gonna clean this up for the next half hour or more and then I'm going to sleep but um thank you guys for who everybody was watching I'm just gonna go through really quick the rocks but thank you guys a bunch and I will save it for the group too this was really fun. I got great results. This one was really awesome. Thank you for telling me to combine them. So that was really cool. Because then I combined that one. So gave me ideas. Okay. And then the two that were totally awesome. These are my favorites right here. Thank you, Ashley, for the color pick. I'm definitely going to do those colors again. That was nice, a nice range of colors. Okay, guys. I'm out of here. Time to go. You guys are awesome. Have a good night. And I'll enjoy seeing all your guys' pores that you guys put on there. They are always catching my eyes in the morning and the afternoon and the evening. So peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Ash.